Namaste yogis. Welcome to day one of our Ashtanga Basics Challenge. I'm so excited to be here with you guys, leading you through this awesome challenge to give you the tools that you need to develop your own personal at-home yoga practice that you can take with you anywhere in the world for the rest of your life. So today we'll begin with Surya Namaskar A, the sun salutations. The first set of sun salutations are very, very basic and their intention is to warm up your body and welcome the day ahead. So there are five main points in the sun salutations. So I'm going to break them down individually and then we'll link them all together. It's important to note also for an Ashtanga yoga practice, we count each breath in Sanskrit. So you'll be learning some Sanskrit numbers as well. Another important thing to remember is that we use the Tristana method. So you are using your focus or your dristi where you're gazing along with your bandhas, your energetic locks within your body and your pranayama, your breath. So all three of these things need to be working along with your movement. So we also use the vinyasa system, which means that each movement is linked together with one breath. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Stand up. Come to the top of your mat. We start in Samastitaki, the mountain pose. So your feet are together, your big toes are touching, your heels are touching, feet glued together. You want to feel your big toes, your little toes and your heels like a tripod rooting into the earth. Super strong glutes. So no wobbling, no shifting side to side. Feel that you're really rooted into the earth. Then we find our bandhas, our energetic locks. So the first most important bandha or lock within your body is the mula bandha. These are your pelvic floor muscles. These are also your Kegel muscles or the muscles that you would hold in when you really have to pee, but you can't. <laughs> Maybe there's no bathroom or you're stuck in a long line, right? These, we all know these muscles. You want to engage this area, your mula bandha. You'll find when you engage your mula bandha, you're automatically 10 times stronger than you would be otherwise. This area holds the whole center of your body engaged. So your pelvic floor is lifted and engaged, and then you pull your lower belly in. Imagine your belly button is pulling into your spine. So this is the very first pose, Samastitahi. Just standing here is work in and of itself. We begin with an opening prayer. So bring your hands together at heart center, press your thumbs towards your sternum and tuck your chin into your chest. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Oh. One big guru nam charanara vinde sandara chita swatma sukha Nishwayase Jangali Kayamane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantye Abahu Purushakaram Shanka Chakrasi Daharinam Sahasra Shirasam Shwetam Pranamami Patanjali your hands down by your side, back to Samastitsahi. Our first movement on Akam, the number one, we reach our arms overhead as you inhale and look to your thumbs. Your palms are pressed together. It's not a back bend, it's just arms. 
arm lifts up. If you have space on either side of you, you can also reach out to the side, connect your pinkies first so that you find the proper shoulder alignment and then press the rest of your palms together. So your shoulders are aligned, you look to your thumb. Then do a exhale, fold straight down. Take your hands just to the outside of your feet, which should be directly under your shoulder. Not too wide, just to the outer edges of your feet, right under your shoulders. You can fold all the way down as far as you can here. If you need to take a soft bend in your knees to be able to reach the floor, you may do so. It's more important that your hands touch the floor than your knees are super straight. Tree me, inhale, look up. Just lift your head up and gaze to the tip of your nose. Don't move your hands. Chatwari, here's the fun part. As you exhale, step through your high plank and come to Chaturanga Dandasana. So let's pause here for a moment and discuss Chaturanga. We're going to see a lot of chaturangas in the Ashtanga yoga practice throughout the entire practice. Every time we vinyasa and we move through a posture to get to the next one, you're going to see this movement. So it's really important that you establish a solid, strong foundation in your chaturangas so you don't injure yourself. This is why, in my opinion, it's better to keep your hands on the floor as you step back for your chaturanga instead of lifting halfway up as we see in a lot of classes like this and then placing your hands back down. Keep your hands to the outer edges of your feet as you lift so that when you step back they're already in the correct alignment. What happens often is that we'll come up here and then you'll take your hands somewhere you're not really sure where and then you'll be in the wrong shoulder alignment when you go try your chaturanga, maybe your elbows are gonna go out to the side, right? We don't want that to happen. You can injure yourself in chaturanga. You can hurt your shoulders, you can hurt your neck. So you have to be really careful, all right? Let me face you and just show you what I mean. So from here, trainee, inhale. You step back, don't move your hands. And chaturanga, exhale, your elbows, tuck into your rib cage and you gaze to the tip of your nose. Careful that you're not dipping your hips or leaving your booty up, right? It's a flat line, all right? When we try that again, let's start in Samastitahi. A come inhale, arms up, palms press, lift your thumbs. Do a exhale, fold down, hands to the outside of your feet, release your neck. Trini, inhale, head up only, gaze to your nose. Keep your hands flat on the floor. Chaturanga, step back to your high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, watch. Elbows tuck in and you have a super flat back. Gaze to the tip of your nose. If you're a beginner, you can lower your knees down and lower your chest down or lower all the way down to your belly. Got it. <laughs> Chatwari. That was your chaturanga. Mm -hmm. Pancha. Inhale. We come to an upward facing dog. Upward dog. It's really important. Also, you see this a lot. So upward facing dog. Your hands are under your shoulders. You lift your knees. Engage your thighs, and you're on the top of your feet. Your toes are pointed down. It's not a big back bend arch of the back here. You just look to the tip of your nose. Again, if you're a beginner and you're coming all the way down to the floor, you can just take a baby cobra and just lift your chest, or you can take a full cobra and straighten your arms, right? So maybe you're not ready for the full upward dog just yet. If you're taking the full upward dog, make sure your toes are down, your thighs are lifted off the mat, your knees are lifted, and you're gazing to the tip of your nose. I often see people do this. They keep their toes tucked under, right? You wanna flatten your feet down and lift up. Make sure your shoulders 
are not coming into your ears, right? This is a very engaged pose. Mm -hmm. Then shot as you exhale, roll over your toes and come to your downward facing dog. So down dog is a really important pose as well. You're going to see this a lot too. The proper alignment for your downward dog is ideally your hands haven't moved at all since you came down to the floor in due, right? So the hands should still be in line with your shoulders and then your feet should be in line with your hips. So they're just hips distance apart. Maybe for the first couple, they can even be a little bit wider. You don't want them to be too close together or too close in to you or too far away. So from your chaturanga and then your upward dog, if you just roll over your toes and then place your feet flat on the floor without changing too much, you should be in the right position. I'm gonna back this up so maybe you can see my full mat a little bit better. Okay. So let's try this all together. All of these movements. Sama Sitihi. A, come inhale, arms up, palms press, look to your thumb. Do a exhale, fold down. Trini, inhale, head up. Don't move your hands. Chatwari, exhale, step back to your high plank. Bend your elbows, chaturanga, or go all the way down to the floor. Take your modification. Pancha, inhale, upward facing, just flip your feet, gaze to your toes. Gaze to your nose, flip your toes down. Shot, exhale, roll over your toes and come to your downward facing dog. Your feet are hips distance apart. You tilt your pelvis up so your sit bones are pointing towards the ceiling. Roll your shoulders down your back and gaze to your belly button or between your thighs. Stretch your fingers wide and we hold this position for five deep breaths. We breathe the whole time in and out through our nose. So your lips stay together and you're only breathing through your nose. Five deep breaths. After the last one on Sapta or seventh breath, you look forward between your hands, rise to your toes. Inhale, step your feet forward. Bring again your feet to touch. Lift halfway up. That's all traditionally one breath. While you're a beginner, if you need to take a couple of breaths in between, that's okay too. This is all sapta, inhale. And again, you lift halfway up. If you need to soften your knees to keep your feet flat, that's okay too. Sapta in, this is Sapta, inhale, and then Ashto, exhale, fold again, all the way back down. Nava, inhale, rise all the way back up, look to your thumbs just how you started. Exhale, Samasthi, Tahi, hands down. So that's the first sun salutation. That's all. That's all it is. We repeat this five times in the beginning of our practice. So let's try it all together, shall we? Samastitihi, feet together. A, come inhale, arms up, palms press, look to your thumbs. Do a exhale, fold all the way down, hands to the outside of your feet. Trini, inhale, head up only. Chatwari, exhale, step back, chaturanga or all the way down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing, or just cobra. Shot, exhale, downward facing. Five deep breaths here. Inhale, exhale, one. Roll your shoulders down your back. Inhale, exhale, two. Your feet are hips distance apart. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Sapta, inhale, look forward, step your feet between your hands, lift halfway up. 
Ashto, exhale, fold down. Nava, inhale, rise up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, Samasti Sahi. Second one. A, come inhale, look up. Do a exhale, fold down. Make sure these are really full, deep breaths. Trini, inhale, head up only. Chaturi, exhale, step back through your high plank and bend your elbows, Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Relax your shoulders down your back, deep breaths for one, two, three, stretch your fingers out wide, four, and five, stop the inhale, look forward, step between your hands, lift halfway. Ashto, exhale, fold all the way down. Nava, inhale, rise up. Exhale, Samasti Sahi. Third round. A, come inhale, look up. Do a exhale, pull down. Trini, inhale, head up. Chatswari, exhale. You can step or try to jump back to Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shots, exhale, downward facing. Deep breaths again for one. Two, engage your thighs. Three, so pull your kneecaps up to your thighs. Four, and five. Stop the inhale, look forward, you can step or jump. You can bend your knees and jump your feet to your hands. Lift halfway. Ashto, exhale, fold down. Nava, inhale, rise up, palms press. Exhale, Samasti Sahi. Again, A, come inhale, look up. Do a exhale, go down. Trini, inhale, head up. Chaturi, exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breaths. One, two, you're gazing towards your belly button or between your thighs. Three, tilt your sit bones to the ceiling. Four, Five, stop the inhale, look forward, step or jump your feet between your hands, lift halfway. Ashto, exhale, fold all the way down. Nava, inhale, rise up, palms press. Exhale, Samasti Sahi. Last one. A, come inhale, look up. Do a exhale, pull down. Trini, inhale, head up only. Chatwari, exhale, jump back, Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shots, exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breaths, one. Strong arms. Two, reach your heels down to the mat. Three, super focused on your breath. Four, And five, stop the inhale, look forward, step or float your feet between your hands, lift halfway. Ashto, exhale, pull your lower belly in as you fold back down. Now the inhale, rise up, palms press, exhale, Samasti Sahi. So that's it, that is Surya Namaskara A, you did it. Tomorrow, we'll be learning Surya Namaskara B. Thank you so much for practicing, namaste.